Welcome back, YouTube Paradise, to Harvest Town. Look at this, guys. Last episode, we uh, managed to construct the port. Now, the next thing that we need to do, of course, is to uh, start the construction of a ship. And we will send that ship for expeditions. And I think, I'm not too sure how long it takes to come back, but we will get into that. I can't remember exactly. So let's uh, recap what we have done so far, shall we? I'm going to unpause it. They can go. Chickens. We are starting to reprocreate again, guys. We are going to have our plenty of chickens to eat and do chicken nuggets and eggs and whatever. <laughs> what have you? We are going to do it. Uh, we have a few fields working. Uh, we have this one with uh, five in there. This one with another five. Um, I think we left one of those out, didn't we? Yes, the wheat, because we have plenty, plenty of grain, guys. So And look at the amount of flour. So... We are not going to this season, maybe the next one, we are not going to um, sow any wheat, I don't think. We have the flax going, and of course, more vegetables. And uh, this guy is producing oats for the chickens, and we have 14, 46 so far. Brilliant. Then we have these guys here with more oats. Excellent. So uh, oats is not going to be a problem, hopefully, guys, hopefully. Now, these guys, are they harvesting already? It's late spring, can be. Oh, I don't know what they're harvesting. It looks like they're harvesting. Are they? No, they haven't. No, they are not, I would say. They are not. They, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but it, it is what it is. Okay. And, of course, the rest of the village were doing pretty well indeed. Look at the food, guys. 9,000. And we haven't even started the harvest yet. Uh, the orchard, we are, uh, we are doing okay. We are doing fairly okay. Now, we have logged uh, eggs and meat. Okay. And that is because we are creating pies. Okay, in this occasion we are creating fish pies. I think it's time to switch to meat pies. And uh, obviously they will start getting that uh, food from here, okay? And what else? We have this uh, bakery here pro pro uh, producing bread. Because I'm going to leave it there permanently producing bread. And maybe, who knows, uh, we can press another bakery here at some stage. See how it goes. But in this episode, it's boat time how are we doing with resources excellent uh labors we have three labors and six yes yeah, six i'm going to reduce that to three and we are going to ask to produce a boat oh this is going to be impressive guy look at the building look at this how cool it's so real so beautiful look at that i absolutely love that absolutely love it and uh, of course they will, they need to bring all the materials and everything that they need we need 100 flags dude bloody hell 100 flags to construct a boat and some heights finally we start uh, creating using heights yeah that's really good and we have plenty of cast iron as well so there you go so at some stage they're going to come and start building that let's crank it up to five so they can go and do whatever they want to do guys that is going to be the deal uh, you know still i'm so I don't know what to do in this in in this corner here you know i don't know if put a couple of houses in here i'm not too sure i'm not too sure yet but uh something have to be done keeping an eye as always for any wild animals trying to lurk to eat the chickens but uh i don't think it's going to happen that easy anymore because we are keeping an eye really really well and to be fair i mean you we have a huge crisis with chickens we only have two left of about 130 140 i think and look at what look at us look at us guys we done it we survived the chickens haha <laughs> brilliant right let's see if these guys are starting to construct yeah starting to bring all the uh, things oh this is going to be pretty pretty cool the road just landed straight on the steps in here look at that that was pretty cool as well so there you go right let them uh, get with the ship uh we have a tornado near the village but we are not going to worry about that at the moment because uh, so far on the 36 episodes i have seen about five or six tornadoes but none have landed here and fingers crossed guys <laughs> fingers crossed that they are not going to land here either okay okay so what are we going to do in this episode well we need to wait for the boat to be constructed and i think that we can even name it so that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. We need to think in a name for the boat. We need to think a name for the boat. That's going to be pretty, pretty cool. And I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If we can name it, I'm not sure how we are going to call it. But uh, we will think about it. If we can. I'm not too sure if we can. Otherwise, I think that we are doing pretty, pretty cool. We could, actually. We could. How many people we got? I mean, 80, 91 in total. That's a lot of people, right? 
that is a lot of people and keep in mind that you know during all these series we actually lost quite a few people with starvation hypothermia illnesses it has been a journey a journey and a half guys we lost a lot of villagers but look at us now where we are uh, looking pretty pretty impressive i would uh, like to carry on upgrading houses that is something that i really would like to do and no better way than do it right now because we are in summer and i'm going to start upgrading this one now hopefully we are not going to uh, lose anybody okay so let's do it let them go speed five i'm going to bring uh, another uh, builder so they can carry on doing it but you see as soon as uh, that happens they become homeless now the idea here should be really to create a new house and whenever the house is about 90 percent completion then demolish these ones because as soon as this house of 90 percent is complete these guys will move straight into that and you avoid people dying okay now uh it's only summer i'm pretty sure that we can actually uh, make it the only thing i'm worried about is that they will die of starvation as well that in this game is something they really don't understand uh, i understand if that was hypothermia but uh, starvation not to show when they can actually get into into the uh, barns and get the food and all that but it is what it is right uh, let's crank up the horn mm -hmm. see how we're doing let's check this boat oh look at this guys oh look at this ha oh look at this brilliant uh, what happened here that of, of age oh how cool is this select the goal then begin the expedition you can only select one goal right uh send to expedition look the amount of things we need this is ridiculous guys oh dude so we can actually get uh farming animals we can get crops or we can get um other resources food resources that that's pretty cool but look we need lots of pies with this vegetable pies we need water oh dude right i guess that we need to have all the resources first before we can actually send an expedition oh dude that that's going to be this is going to be pretty pretty impressive to actually send the boat to an expedition but you know what looks pretty awesome you have to admit right that's that uh, obviously we are going to need another a uh, baker oh man this is going to be tough this is going to be really really tough uh, i'm going to unlock uh how are we doing with meat we have meat pie how many they require these guys say that we want some animals wow that's the most difficult one i believe we need another weave as well ah look 23 how cool is that oh they will bring it straight to here when they have it oh that's cool okay brilliant that's excellent so first things first we need a weaver guys that that's that's something that we really really need and you know what i'm thinking to put a weaver in here you know guys what do you think oh not too sure not too sure if i can find the weaver where is the weaver can we put him here somewhere maybe next to the fisherman what do you think no i think there's some housing will be better in there i think some type of housing and shall i place it somewhere here hmm not too sure let me spin this guy a bit right there you see it start to death and that guy is going to be discussing here but look at that the house is nearly done so you know we only want lost one guy so far it's not too it's not too bad shall we place this guy here because we are going to have to do some uh, roads and things as well at some stage so what about if we place this little fella here what do you think we need 90 or we got the resources to do it yeah let's do it we have we have time okay we are harvesting already 8000 that's pretty pretty impressive and uh, let's blow the horn a couple of times so they can carry and do their things oh look look at this guys okay so um how are we doing oh no they ate the pies so i guess that we need to lock the pies yeah that's going to be next episode let's uh, get the foundation uh, going 
and once we have all the buildings that we need to produce resources to this guy gone expedition and of course feed everyone then we will start uh, locking things and all that kind of thing i'm going to lock the eggs so they can uh, start eating eggs as well for a little while and i'm going to unlock meat and lock fish so they can do that as well and i'm going to switch this baker to create fish pies yeah fish pies because you see once we got the other baker one can do um meat and the other one can do fish and i'm hoping that by uh, blocking this these guys will survive long enough long enough but these expeditions are going to be pretty pretty cool and i'm not they're not going to be easy and uh, one more thing by the way if you don't know about the game this boat can be lost in the expedition so not only you uh, waste all the resources to create the boat but look at the amount of things that you're going to lose as well if we lose a boat it's not going to be funny look at the house oh now this is starting to look a bit better isn't it look at that gorgeous thing pretty pretty cool pretty cool and absolutely full again you see we need housing we definitely need housing but we are going to upgrade one at a time i think we're not going to be greedy about it and we're going to do it nice and steady so uh, that is what it's going to be uh, nearly 2000 oats flax it's a bit low because these guys these guys need uh, not this one. Oh, i thought that they needed flax over there oh oh no that's the port oh dude right oh there you go there you go so flax is the last one isn't it oh no they don't need flax oh that's in so uh whenever they said uh, it's in green the green buttons is because we have the uh, available resources to send them but how do you bring the water we are going to have to do that manually guys we are going to have to take a teenager whenever we are ready and bring all that manually so we will do that eventually eventually in the meantime we need to make sure that uh, we upgrade the houses and they look pretty cool i think what do you think look at that rooftops they're looking gorgeous uh brilliant absolutely brilliant right let's blow the horn once again mm -hmm. you know i thought that we could actually name the boat for some reason can we name it i don't think we can I really thought we could. What a shame. But anyway, it is what it is. Maybe an idea for the developers. You can name the boats. It will be pretty impressive as well. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. But as you see, it's looking pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I think I'm going to build a house in here, guys. And before doing anything else, I'm going to send these guys to bring some more ore. Because uh, this ore situation is going to, it's not going to be too good, I don't think so let's grab as much as we can up here they can do that in the meantime go for it because we have uh, four guys in there so i'm going to take them all out of building and uh, they can go and collect all that all that we are going to need eventually because we need to upgrade all these houses and create uh, further buildings oh no we need to uh, sorry we need to <laughs> build us for this dude i forgot the weavers okay and of course we are going to need uh, wool to create a warm clothing and to do that we need to send this guys in expedition to bring animals to make wool so as you can see the chain uh, production is going to be huge and we need to be so we need to be prepared to do that because it's going to be challenging in future episodes guys and it's starting to get a bit more challenging and interesting i think i think okay so uh, how are we doing uh we, we didn't do anything now, one thing I want to mention as well, if you don't know the game or, you know, you haven't even maybe noticed, is that whenever you click on a field, you will see down here the temperature and the humidity that uh, that crop needs, but also tells you the speed, the growing speed. This one, for example, um, potatoes grow normally, but if you come in here at uh, the oats, look, it's fast growing. So these things will grow really fast. That will give you a clue to see how many fields you want and how uh, big the fields you you want to put down to create uh, to harvest oats okay so keep that in mind as well uh, it's it's interesting to to keep an eye on these things as well and it's all about micromanagement i suppose but uh mm -hmm. how are we doing with food guys uh nearly eleven thousand. very nice indeed loving it absolutely loving it 
Uh, the miners not doing too well at the moment, I'm afraid. Although, you know, to be fair, this only guy here produces quite a lot of stones, you know? It really does. I'm pretty impressed with him. Right, uh, we buy stone? Yes, it is. Right, let's crank it up. Let's create... Hey, what's going on? Do we already have one? Oh, three. W why three, though? This is why I don't understand. It's asking me to have three. Uh, this is really odd, actually. Really strange. Where's the other wave? I see here somewhere. This is really strange. So I'm effectively I'm using three weavers for two buildings. How that can be? Oh, I am missing something, guys. Let me know. Let me know because this is really strange. Effectively, I'm using an extra labor for two buildings. When, in actual fact, you only require one labor for each building, which should be two. Well, that... Hmm, I don't know about that. Not too sure about that, guys. But uh, we did the labor as well. Brilliant. The bakers, the bakeries are going crackers as well. So I think that we are going to have to make another bakery at some stage. Now, uh, we are going to have to create some roads at some stage. Maybe across here. See how it goes. See how it goes. Or maybe across here. See, see how it goes. Because uh, one, one thing I'm not taking much attention on is on, on the layout of it. Uh, I'm just uh, going with the mechanics of the game. Uh, not the aesthetics of it. Okay, so keep that in mind. Oh, look. Uh, go, Will. Has grown up and is ready to study. How many kids we have at school? Oh, this is a small house. I can see with the, with the rain. Oh my god. Hold on. Where are we? Oh. There we go. Oh, one. One student only. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Now, I wish these guys could be... Uh, I wish these guys could be upgraded. And what I'm going to do, I think, uh, next uh, summer, I think, I'm going to destroy one of these guys and I'm going to create another stable barn somewhere that is going to be a good call I think yeah I think that we are going to have to do that right how are we doing with the food hmm. uh, nearly 12,000 very nice indeed uh, we have plenty of oats thank you guys for that we are doing uh, flax again excellent because now we have two weavers guys I'm pretty sure the one guy can actually uh, supply both buildings to create clothing but uh, nevertheless we are going to have to uh, keep an eye on that excellent so we have another house upgrade it's already full as you can see as soon as you upgrade the house they fill up pretty pretty cool let's see these guys in here we have plenty of clothes plenty of uh, high quality tools shall we take a teenager and try how many teenagers we got oh five that should be easy to find uh, not this one. No, that one. No, that one. Look, all the farmers living in this small house. Blimey. Lumberjacks live there as well. Uh, teenager. There you go. Ah, oh, hello. Hello. Right, we are going to need a. Well, now, you know what happened in this video is that I don't know what the well is. So I'm going to have to f try to find my bearings first, uh, depending up upon which um, teenager you take. I'm not sure where I am because it's starting to grow this thing quite big, you know, but we are going to do to need to do that to get the, uh, the water here. Uh, we are going to need 50 water as well. So we are going to have to do that some stage. Okay, now we have a well here in the corner. Can I get one from here i wonder do we have any teenagers in here no mm. the, the teenagers here and the well is there all right right so you are there and the boat is in that direction right right where's, where's the door dude how we get out here Ah, there we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Right. Uh, the well is right there in the corner, guys. Now, if you press shift, you will be able to go faster. But I want to have a good look around, guys. So, hello. I am pretty much away. Look at that beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? 
I think is pretty pretty impressive okay so look there is the um, well of course you can actually um, press the uh, horn as well so you go quick as well okay so let's go interact I guess we are getting the uh, water let's do it and we need to bring it to the uh, port up there look at that impressive building guys oh dude look at that and of course you can uh, drop the water when resources that you manually pick up as well no i personally don't like doing this myself very much but uh, uh, first person i don't like it very much so how then we drop the water that we need oh maybe we need to go up here Hold on. come on dude let's bring the water here can we go inside? Oh no, we can't. Oh, that's that's impressive. Why why we cannot drop the water then? Hmm. Can we not drop it, or we actually dropped it on the way? Oh, I don't know. Not too sure. Yeah, you know. Now I dropped it there. I wonder if that counted. That's a count. No, it doesn't count. Well, I'm going to have to do some research on that because, uh, as you can see, you cannot bring the water manually. No, no, inside the building. Right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we are in full at the moment. Uh, temperature plus seven, so they can carry on doing a bit more. This guy's finished now, so you can actually go and do something else. That one was close. This one is harvesting. Let them be for a tiny bit longer. And these guys can go as well now. I mean, we have 13,000 food guys. I mean, that, that is impressive. These guys can finish as well. So there's five of those out. We put them down to 11. Uh, what about apples? You start harvesting that real fast. And these guys have 84 to go still, as you can see there. Yeah, well, I um, need to research how to uh, bring the water manually to the thing, but look at that. Now, this is a beautiful view. Look at... Oh, no, that <laughs> That's pretty impressive, I think. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at the chickens, guys. They're growing like mad. Excellent. How many we got? 31. You know what? I'm going to pass half of each coop to the big feeling here. There we go. They can go now, all of them. Look at them going in their ritual. Look at that cool it looks. All the chickens going. Oh, brilliant. Domesticate the chickens, guys. You can't ask any more than that. Right, these guys are finished as well. So it's five uh, out of the way. They leave us with six. And I guess they're going to be down here. Yeah, these guys are not too. Let me bring another chewing there so they can actually harvest quicker we don't want that to go to waste oops oh there okie dokie yeah oh, I'm so I'm so annoyed about this water business how do you bring the water yeah you see we have I mean we could lock it so you get enough resources but how do you lock the water can we lock the water in here I wonder no you can't Hmm, this is really strange. I think that we need to bring it manually, but uh, I need to find out how. So that is something that we need to keep an eye on. So uh, the baker is done, isn't it? No, that was the weaver. So we didn't do another baker. No, that was, that, that was the weaver. And we've got 27 clothing, which is pretty cool. And we have two more babies born. Excellent. And a total population of 90. Right. We have an animal attack. Oh, there, look at that. Look at this guy here. I mean, come on, dude. You can't do that. <laughs> you just can't do that. Let me slow this down. I'm going to possess London. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let him go. So, where is the... Where is he? He's there, right there. Let's kill him before he kills another one. Take it. Good shot. Now you carry on. And I will speed up to five. Okay. Well, uh, not too bad, I think, in this episode, guys. We did quite a lot. Uh, we placed a weaver. We upgraded another house. We created the boat. 
We, we are doing pretty, pretty well. Now, what is the first thing that we are going to do? Are we going to send them to uh, more full resources or more crops or animals, farm animals? What do you think, guys? I think we should go for farm animals. Yeah, I think we should go for farm animals and see what they bring because uh, I'm not too sure what they're going to bring either. What's this uh, vegetable pie? So as you can see, to create all these resources, it's going to take some time because obviously uh, the bakers are going to have to switch between uh, fish pies, meat pies and vegetable pies as well. So uh, there's something to keep uh, an eye on. I'm going to lock the eggs ready for that as well. Look at the amount of apples and fruit we got. Brilliant. Absolutely excellent. I mean, food is just, it's just sorted, I think. I think that we are pretty much sorted. Okay, so I'm going to shut these guys down because we are a minus one. They're not going to do anything else. Uh, and I'm going to bring everyone out now because the these guys I think going to be finished as well. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we, we have the luxury to actually stop them whenever we want. Okay, because uh, it, it's just no more to do that. Now with the temperature being minus three, it's nothing going to happen. Now, keep in mind as well that we haven't used the guardrails as well because we don't have enough uh, people, but uh, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Um, I'm looking for... We have 6,000. Dude, firewood is going brilliant. Now, the forest has finally starting to actually create awesome, awesome food. And... Yeah, everything is sorted. As far as I can see. Is any fields with three people? Oh, look. This one can go. Excellent. This one is done. This one is done. And there is the two. And that's it. Pretty much it, guys. Pretty much it. So I'm going to do some research about uh, how to bring the water into uh, the port, into the boat. And once we work that out, we can start locking up the resources to send these guys for expedition. Let me know. What do you think we should send for expedition? Animals, crops, or more food resources? Let me know. Let me know. Leave me a comment. And that's pretty much it, guys. Please uh, comment, subscribe, and like. Thank you kindly for stopping by once again. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, take great care.